good morning friends happy monday um it's currently like 7 50 maybe eight o'clock and i usually have clinical theory and um dental materials on mondays but we had a pretty decent snowstorm last night and this morning i was just feeling really anxious about driving because the roads are really icy I battled with myself really hard on whether or not I should just try, but ultimately I decided to stay home. Um, it is, you know, a very short lecture day, so I figured I would uh, just stay home and get work done here and just play it safe. So uh, you guys are gonna join me in completing some notes for the week here at home, hanging out, getting some school stuff ready, now that spring break is over and yeah, I just, I kind of feel guilty about missing class. This is my first absence ever in the program so far and I'm almost a year done. Um, but you know, it's just better to play it safe sometimes. So I will stand by that decision. Um, I'm gonna make myself breakfast right now and then probably like eat breakfast without doing schoolwork and then I'll move into some schoolwork. So I will have you guys join in on that fun and I hope that you guys are safe and warm and um, I hope that you enjoy your Monday and I'll see you in a bit. Hi guys, I just wanted to update you on something that just popped up on my school homepage. I don't know for sure if I told you guys about my research paper that I did over spring break. Okay, so I'm going to be 100% honest. I actually think that he counted me wrong on something that I did put in my paper but I'm not gonna fight it because I'm happy with my grade and um I didn't write the correct answer in like the section that it was supposed to be in but in my head when I wrote it I kind of figured that because I stated this thing that I would get graded for it but it's okay because I got a 94% I'm very proud of myself that is an A in my school system a 93 and above is an A and my feedback says Liz great job very neat article which is great so yeah I'm pretty happy with that um, all that's left is two exams and one, two, three quizzes. That is all that's left, that's crazy. So I'm just gonna continue on what I was doing today and I'll check in with you guys again shortly. Hi guys, it's still Tuesday. It's currently almost two o'clock in the afternoon and I just wanted to give like a few little updates. Um, Austin ended up leaving. He had to go into the office for a meeting or two and I've just been sitting here doing some schoolwork. So I actually ended up grabbing my Perio book. Oh my God, it's heavy. My Perio book. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And I filled out the objectives on my own. And then I really want to walk through how I study with you guys, but I'll kind of explain it. I fill out my objectives for the chapters on a Google Doc. And then once I have completed it, I will copy and paste it into a Word document and then uh, like save it. And then I think I've told you guys that I use Notability for my school notes and stuff so i have created like um a self-made study guide template meaning like in each class 
there is like a next exam study guide chapters, blah, 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 blah. And then I import the saved word document of the objectives. And then I go in with the tape tool and like tape it all up so that I can quiz myself on that. And then I've actually been uploading the written out objectives to Quizlet to help create flashcards. And then I go in and I edit them, adding photos, changing some questions, adding questions like whatever. Um, and then I study from there. So I did complete Perio for this week. The objectives are done. The study guide on notability is made. And the new Quizlet for that chapter is also in my um, Quizlet folder. And now I am still kind of studying. So this morning I studied um, clinical theory, all of the information that we have right now for the next exam. So it's like two weeks worth, right? I think it's two weeks worth of chapters because we had the week before spring break and then this week's material. And I have already studied that and got 100% on all my Quizlets. Not too worried about that class right now. And then right now I'm moving on to dental materials. And there are two, like, yeah, there are like two main chapters that I need to study that are going to be on the next exam, um, implants and ortho material. And I'm currently studying the implant one. Um, so what I do, implant, did I say implant or implant? I don't know. But um, what I do is I'm on my computer and so I do flashcards first and I just read through them and like look through the flashcards, kind of get an idea. And then when you finish the flashcards, it takes you to like a learn version of the folder. So I'll do that. And then it takes you to a test version of the folder and I do that last. Um, and that's kind of how I study for every single class. If I get to finish the dental materials stuff today, then I'll move on to pathology or the new perio material. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I do it. I don't know if that makes sense since I'm like verbalizing it and not specifically showing you what I do, but that's kind of all I've been doing today. And that's it. That's kind of my only update. So I'm going to continue studying and stuff and then... Um, I will check back in with you all later. Bye. Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. Today is March 27th and it is currently 8, 11 in the morning and I just parked on campus. I'm early because I think I might have told you guys that on Wednesdays I do drop off with my kids like carpool and because of that I'm always here just like early, which is fine. I'm about to go in and just like sit down with my Quizlets for a little bit, but I just wanted to check in and say hi. Um, today is oral pathology and periodontics one. And today after oral path, I am going to go find my teachers that want to talk to me and I'm going to chat with them. I'm super nervous about what this is about, um, but yeah, I'm going to go inside and talk to you guys later. I hope that you have a great Wednesday and I hope that you stay productive and happy. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, it's still Wednesday. It's currently two o'clock and I'm in my car about to drive home. I guess we got out early, didn't we? Let me look. Yeah, we almost got out an hour early, which is really nice. Um, I am feeling slightly overwhelmed with the upcoming exams. So I do really want to get home and just like use tonight productively, do a lot of studying, reading the textbooks, stuff like that. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know about my day. I had oral path. It was a good class. Um, there was a pop quiz, you guys. I was not expecting that, but it went well. I ended up getting a 90%. I just missed one question. And then, um, the rest of the class, we just worked on a case study assignment. Easy, nothing crazy. That is going to be presented next week in class. And then in periodontics, we went over our lecture. Everything went well. We also discussed a little bit about the fact that we're so close to being second years, which is crazy. I can't believe that it's all happening. I have been wanting to 
just be a hygienist when I grow up and here I am doing the dang thing and that's pretty cool so I'm excited for May to get here for multiple reasons. The semester will be over, I'm getting married, and I'm going to be a second year dental hygiene student, which is just so exciting. Um, but that's all we really went over. And I did have my little meeting today with my professors. And all I'm going to say, sweet and simple, is it wasn't bad. I was overreacting and definitely allowed the anxiety to get the best of me. I'm glad the meeting's over, but it was fine. Nothing crazy to report and yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to drive home now and I'll check in with you guys later. I hope that you had a wonderful Wednesday. Hi guys. Um, we just dropped Katya off at dance class and we're about to go get some dinner. We're thinking Chick-fil-A tonight. Per usual, we're always eating Chick-fil-A. Um, I just wanted to come on here and kind of do a little check-in and make sure that you all are happy with the content. Um, I'm answering all of your guys' questions, right? And I hope that this is enjoyable for you guys to watch. I remember when i was applying for dental hygiene school all i wanted was to find other hygiene students on youtube who were going through the journey and just like i just wanted to see that if they could go through something so hard then i can too and it's nice what is that um quote i feel like misery loves company is a little too dramatic for what i'm trying to say but at the same time, it is really nice to know that you're not the only one struggling. Um, I battle really hard with like critiquing myself and being mean to myself. The meanest person to me is probably me. And I know that I'm not the only one out there who is like that. I just, I hold myself accountable to like such a high standard. And when I don't, reach my goals it just really breaks me down and i know there are other people like the way i am especially dental hygiene students we are a special breed you guys we're super type a and we are very like meticulous and cautious of everything i don't know but i just wanted to check in and make sure that this channel is actually benefiting some of you. Um, that's all I want to do is just showcase the like highs and lows of this program. And um, today I'm just finding myself a little down about filming. I, I feel just like slightly embarrassed or judged or... Um, Honestly, I can take all of the embarrassment and judgment as long as I just know that it's like helping somebody. So please let me know if um, I'm doing a good job with easing your mind or even just making you feel like you're not alone and answering all of your questions. I definitely want to be here to answer absolutely anything you may ask because that's all I wanted when I was applying to the program. And there are plenty of nursing student videos and vlogs on YouTube, but seriously, barely any hygiene. And so I just wanted to create that space because I know that if I was looking for those types of videos, there's got to be other people looking for them too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to stop talking now because I'm just like ranting. I brought my iPad on this drive to study some of my Quizlets. When I was at home, I was filling out my oral pathology study guide. I need to continue doing that when I get home for sure. I think I'm skipping the gym tonight. Um, Austin is having a little rough day with his work. So I think we're going to split up a little bit and both work on our stuff, have a very productive evening. So I think that's the plan for tonight. Um, just let me know you guys let me know what you think of 
these videos, if they're helpful, if I should change anything, if I should add anything. Just let me know. I want to make sure that this is benefiting you guys. So yeah. Okay. Thanks for being here and I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. Today is Thursday, March 28th, and it is 7.18 in the morning. And I just parked outside of my clinic building. Um, I think I've told you guys this plenty of times before, but we get to go in at 7.30, and clinic begins at eight o'clock. Um, this morning I have a patient who has already been screened. Um, she is a new patient for me, and I'm just completing the assessment this morning and then in the afternoon I am RA which is radiographic assistant. My plan is to try and sign up for my timed assessment today but I physically don't know how that's possible. Like I just don't know how I could complete a whole assessment within an hour and a half because I think that's what the PE is. I just don't know if I can do that, but I am willing to try since we have more than one try and the semester is almost over and I don't really know how many assessments I have left. So I figured today would be the day, so wish me luck and I will let you guys know later on how my day goes. And yeah, I hope that you have a great Thursday. Hi guys, happy Thursday. It is. 5.05 .05 p.m. and I just got into my car from clinic. Today was a crazy day. Oh, I had a patient in the morning. Um, <laughs> I signed up to try my timed assessment. Oh my god, it's hot in here. Oh, I signed up and tried my timed assessment and totally failed it but literally at huddle I told my faculty that I I don't know how people do it like how seriously tell me how am I supposed to be like confident enough and fast enough while also efficient enough to be able to complete an entire assessment in a hundred and twenty minutes that's insane I am so in awe of any of my classmates that have passed it. Seriously, I'm gonna have to find out how they're doing that because I just am not there yet, which is a little discouraging, but at the same time, like, I'll get it, it's okay. <laughs> so I didn't pass my timed assessment, but I did complete it from start to finish. So I call that a win. Everything went pretty well. Um, you know, nothing crazy to report. I will tell you guys, I'm gonna make a little vocal note right now of some things that I want to improve on. I wanna start timing my perio charting and just practice more with that because I that is probably my least confident area right now and I really wanna be good at it. I also would love to not get retakes on x-rays. So I'll let you guys know when I reach that goal. And I also, I don't know, you guys, I think maybe, hmm, I just don't know how to type up all of the paperwork, including my clinical notes, more efficiently than I do right now. Like, I don't know how to save time with my notes and paperwork but i'd love to figure it out like i could totally save some time right if i maybe joined a few things together or did some things while doing something else i'm not sure i'll let you guys know if anything comes of that little like thought process De had a decent morning it was fine like i definitely felt kind of sad and discouraged because i just i really want to be good and i I'm just mean to myself and I like I'm telling myself that I'm not good when in reality I'm doing just fine so it's okay I'm done talking about it 
Um, and then I had lunch, which was fine. And then this afternoon, I was actually RA, radiographic assistant, and it was great. I ended up having um, some free time to be able to like get to know one of my faculty better and it was just like really nice and um, I think I've told you guys before that I'm toying around with the idea of possibly getting my bachelor's yeah we talked a little bit about that today and that was just a really overall positive conversation and now I'm gonna go home because it is late and I just am over it so I hope that you guys had a great Friday or Thursday and a great week and I will talk to you guys later.